In this open shot tutorial I will show you how to crossfade a video clip as well as the audio. Also I will show you how to fade the audio to silent at the midpoint of the video clip's crossfade so that the first audio fades to zero before the second audio fades in. I assumed you have a basic knowledge of editing in OpenShot. A link to my beginner's tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Okay, well, as I said at the beginning, I've assumed you've got a basic understanding of um, editing in OpenShot. Um, I've brought three clips into this uh, track here just to show you the different uh, two different ways of fading the audio and the only other thing if you've not done it before um, just come to the top of the screen and left click on view and then views just left click on advanced view which is what this is here okay right okay so with my first clip the beginning I'm gonna left hold my left mouse button down on the second clip and I'm just going to drag it over the first clip. Um, you, you'll have to work out your, your, how, your different uh, fade transition that you want, but I'm just going to do this quite quickly, so we'll leave this as it is. And then if I just drag this along, you'll see that it cross fades from one to the other. Okay. So. To cross fade the audio, uh, the easiest way actually, if, if you've not done this before, just left click on the transition and use these buttons here, these orange buttons, and you can flick from the beginning or the end of the transition. So I'm going to just flick to the end of the transition, just helps to get your uh, marker, timeline marker in the place. And then I'm going to left click on the first clip. Okay. Drag this slider down and look for the box that says volume. Now it'll be set at 1. So all you need to do there is just right click on the um, number 1 and then left click insert keyframe. Now use the orange button to come forward on the transition clip. So you'll have to left click on the transition uh, sort of box and then left click on the um, orange arrow to bring yourself forward and then again you'll have to left click on the video clip. Once you get used to this you can just do this by sliding these along but I'm doing this to sort of help people get started. So you've selected your first clip going to drag this box down, look for volume and literally just drag this down to zero then right click on the little box and then left click insert keyframe and you'll find that the volume if you look at the box on the left hand side will go down as you get to the end of the transition or your clip. Okay. So I'm going to just left click on the transition again and go to the beginning and I'm going to left click on the second clip and this time in the volume box I'm going to drag it down to zero I'm going to right click in the little box and left click insert keyframe hit the transition to, um, sort of a strip here and then go forward then I'm going to left click on the second video clip drag this slider down and you'll see that it's set at zero so if I just left click there and type in one and hit return you should find that your audio will come in and then go to one happy days Okay, let's just do this one. So again, I'm going to drag this along in its own time, take it over, and again, we should have a transition crossfade to the next train or train clip. Okay. 
So as we did before, like I said, once you get used to this, you don't need to do this. You can just slide this slider along. But I'm going to just select the transition and then get to the beginning. And then I'm going to left click on the second clip. So again, volume. Right click in the box and then left click insert keyframe. And this time I'm going to drag this along to the middle. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag this back to zero, right click, and left click insert keyframe. And what you should find. So volume will get down to zero just there. Now at the point it gets to zero, left click on your second um, or your third sorry, the, your third video clip, come down to volume in the box that says volume, left click and drag this down and right click on the box and then left click insert keyframe and then basically left click transition and go to the beginning left click on the clip and then again all you want to do is type 1 back into the volume box right click and then left click insert keyframe now what you should find is the volume will start middle and then on this one again volume drags down to the middle and unfortunately you can't see this one you'll have to believe me that it does it the same on this one and that's really all there is to it um like i said at the beginning i've assumed you got some understanding of um exporting a video also you'll need to set this up before you uh, get started so I suggest you look at at least someone's um, starter video if you don't look at mine um, okay well, that's all I can do I think so thank you for watching cheers